will you look at that? One super fresh Chinook salmon. My name's Valentine Warner, cook and hungry adventurer. And if there's wild food to be had, well, I want to taste it. <laughs> Bingo, bango, bongo. Done. I'm embarking on a cookery saga across Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. I think if I showed my scones to the llamas, they might spit on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's deep, it's rich, it's funky, it's flavoursome, it's fantastic stuff. Mm. <laughs> Fresh sea urchin, it's like foie gras mixed with some ground up super vitamin pills. Delicious. I'm bloody competitive. I actually want to win this. You don't give up just because it's a draw. I want to punch on through and take the last point. <laughs> oh my God, this ain't no tiddler. This is a horseradish. I thought horseradish comes in jars. Horseradish does come in jars. Before it goes into jars, it gets pulled out of the ground. Why am I wearing gloves in the kitchen? Well, it's so flipping cold. This is cake with attitude. There's a lot of love going into these. The engine's been switched off because you're not allowed to use it when you're judging for oysters and the oysters from the River Fowler are reputed to be the best in the country. The trouble is they have to be collected by sail power and this makes it a very hard job. And I'm going to blow the lids off um, this workforce here. This is going to be hot, it's going to have attitude. <laughs> what am I going to cook for Nathan? Well, I'm going to do jerk quail. I like eating quails, it makes me feel like an ogre eating villagers. I'm really off the beaten track, climbing right up into the mountains, up this bumpy track, following a woman I've only just met who seems to have a lot of fabulous foraging information. Take the oil to the squid, and then just kind of mess <laughs> up. <loving at> you. <laughs> I love the fact, here, they all, they're behind your back going tee hee and then you turn around and they go, hi. <laughs> <laughs>